What's up, human? Thank you for being on the channel. You have reached T-Virus Terrence. You be sure to click that subscribe button to join the T-Virus community. We have another DC animated film to talk about. They usually release several of these each year. I love the DC animated films by and large. I think that most of them are great. You're probably wondering, Terrence, what is this particular movie about? Well, we start off on Krypton and we see that it is moments away from getting blown the fuck out of existence. And we see it from the perspective of Supergirl and her mother. Uh, Supergirl's mother decides to send her away from Krypton in a spaceship. And Krypton blows the fuck up. Very sad opening. Some of the debris uh, from the planet blowing up. Just it hits uh, Supergirl's spaceship and she gets knocked off course and then we are thrusted into present day where we see that Supergirl is not really fitting in you know the humans are aware of Supergirl the Justice League they're aware of Supergirl and they're getting tired of her shit because she's reckless she's careless she doesn't care about property damage there's a lot of sloppiness when it comes to Supergirl and Batman is especially getting tired of that shit he spoke to Superman like, look, you need to get your fucking cousin under control. Like, we don't want to have to banish her from this fucking planet. She fucking up. So Supergirl doesn't like to hear the truth, and she feels upset. She's like, you know what? Earth is fucking garbage. Krypton is better. I ain't never been to Krypton, but I would imagine that Krypton is better than Earth. You know, Earth is the worst planet in the universe by far. We all know that. So she's feeling a bit homesick, and Superman's like, you know what? I got you. You family, let me take you to the 31st century. So he takes her to the 31st century via tech given to him by the Legion, I believe. So he's like, how about you stay in this time period and interact with the Legion of superheroes? And many of them were inspired by me because, you know, I'm Superman. I'm the best superhero ever. Like Superman is cool as fuck. You know what I mean? Like he's very confident. He knows how to bring humor into the situations to try to make his cousin smile but there's also a lot of truth to what he says so supergirl decides to stay there in the 31st century interact with the legion of superheroes and of course you always got to have somebody fucking up trying to ruin everybody's day by taking over shit destroying shit you get <laughs> it's pretty bad you know you get some interesting uh villains in this um and the legion of superheroes they have to deal with them um, the villains that you're going to see in this, if you are fans of DC, you might be aware of them and then maybe you're not aware of them. So you'll get to learn something new and there will be some characters that you recognize and other ones that you're seeing for the first time, but they are pulled from DC comics for the most part on a scale from one to 10, one being horseshit on a hot smelly as day. And 10 being mind-blowingly amazing. I'm going to give this movie a 7 out of 10. It's not great. It's not bad. I thought it was okay. There's some moments in there with Supergirl and the Legion of Superheroes as they're dealing with the threats that you see in this film. There were some really cool moments. And there were other moments that were just okay. So to me, there was more okay moments than great moments. But if you're a fan of Supergirl and the Legion of Superheroes and you like Brainiac 5 and all that kind of stuff... You might get a kick out of this. If you love DC animated movies, give this one a shot. You never know. You might love it. Um, I did enjoy uh, a lot of it, but there's just some of it I felt was pretty dull. Where if the writing were a little bit better, we could have ended up with a great movie. Because the concept is pretty cool. Just the execution of it and a lot of points were just okay at best. Thank you for being here listening to this review, human. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe so you can join the T-Virus community. The community is always growing. And uh, we shall see what happens in the future in relation to DC animated movies. Terrence out.